Chapter 1. What is Digital Detox? In this video, we'll talk about what is Digital Detox. Activities such as yoga and meditation are gaining more prominence because they help people to attain inner tranquility. More people need them because it's becoming more challenging to focus in the modern world, thanks to the myriad of devices and fancy toys we possess. It's difficult to find a teenager in the 21st century without a mobile phone. Access to the internet is increasingly easier and cheaper. Indeed, it has many advantages. Nonetheless, its negative impacts are also numerous. One of the ills of social media addiction is a lack of focus. Meanwhile, you cannot have the maximum performance when you've issues with attention. So, it's critical that you've control over your use of social media. And that's why you need a digital detox. This chapter will explore how social media use can go wrong and how you can reconnect to your true self again. Stats on social media addiction. Indeed, social media platforms are part and parcel of the modern world. We all want to be connected to people in other parts of the world through these mediums. However, when you don't control the time you spend on these platforms, it will affect your productivity. Social media addiction is a severe issue that's ruining many people's potential. Many people are immersed in the digital world such that they struggle to get to grips with the real world. Some people have friends on these platforms but struggle to commit to or maintain quality interpersonal and social interactions. The stats regarding social media use and abuse are startling, if not terrifying. For example, the Nielsen Company reported that the average U.S. adult spends around 11 hours interacting with media daily. This duration includes reading, listening, and watching videos. This analysis shows that an average U.S. adult spends almost half a day in the digital world. Meanwhile, many people spend around 14 to 16 hours interacting with digital services, especially during holidays. Instead of using leisure periods for building a robust bond with loved ones, many people spend them in the digital world. Moreover, this statistic is mind-boggling because it reveals that many people only have around 12 hours left to sleep, eat, work, and interact with loved ones. Many people claim that they don't have time for social activities, hobbies, and regular exercise. Besides, some people also struggle to have sufficient sleep because of their social media activities. Meanwhile, the Sleep Foundation recommends that you should sleep between 7 to 9 hours a day. So, such people will not be able to have enough rest for optimum performance in their daily tasks. There's many reasons you need to consider giving up your phone and devices for a while. For example, you may want to enjoy more personal time without interference. You may also feel that your device use is becoming excessive and increasing your stress and anxiety level. According to a poll conducted by Common Sense Media, 50% of teenagers admitted that they were addicted to their mobile devices. This report also revealed that 78% of the respondents check their digital devices every hour. The Dark Side of Social Media Despite its multiple benefits, there's a dark side to social media use. Indeed, these platforms aren't evil, but people can misuse them to hurt others and also hurt themselves. The unpleasant results of social media abuse are as follows. Insensitive comments due to anonymity. Social media platforms allow people to register without using their real names. This anonymity empowers people to say insensitive things that can make others depressed. Many people don't realize that Twitter's followers or Facebook friends have many reasons for associating with them. Some of these people you meet online don't care about you or how you feel. Many people say things online that they will never dare to say to you in a physical interaction. Body shaming. If you're not careful, the media can make you feel horrible about your body shape, especially if you're fat. It's becoming increasingly embarrassing to call people fat because of the barrage of media abuse associated with the word. 
Moreover, plus-size people are often the butt of many jokes in movies and social media. So, you may feel bad about yourself and reject it. It's okay to lose weight to look fitter and avoid obesity. However, it's an issue when you're losing weight to be accepted by your loved ones. Friends who make you feel worthless because of your physique aren't worth your time. Cyberbullying If you've been a victim of cyberbullying, you'll never be a party to it. It can be devastating to be the target of numerous verbal attacks from different people around the world. It can ruin the individual's self-esteem and lead to suicidal ideation. Unfortunately, many people face several backlashes online every day because of one reason or the other. The margin for error is slimmer in the modern world thanks to many destructive critics out there. They prefer to humiliate you rather than help you grow. Social comparison Social comparison is inevitable when you're exposed to many extravagant people who like to display their wealth on social media. Unfortunately, many celebrities are fond of this ludicrous behavior. They forget that many people aren't enjoying the same privileged positions. Some of them do it in the guise of motivating others not to give up on their dreams. Nevertheless, these images paint a picture of life being devoid of happiness without luxurious lifestyles to many people. Meanwhile, this perception is a vague assessment of the meaning of life. Digital Detox to the Rescue Based on the DSM-5, mental health experts don't regard tech and device overuse as a mental disorder. Nonetheless, it's evident that it's a behavioral addiction that can pose psychological, social, and physical health problems. So, you need to regulate the rate of your interaction with the digital world. You need a brief period when you refrain from using tech devices such as tablets, computers, television, video games, and social media. This process is called digital detoxification. Digital detox is a practical method of focusing on real-life conversations and interactions without distractions. Therefore, you need to ensure that you don't use digital devices excessively, such that you become addicted to them. You must not lose control over your life. However, it's easy to allow other people's influences to affect you through the media. You can only determine the people who have access to your life, but you cannot decide their impact. Therefore, it's crucial that you limit your exposure to negative influences by using social media responsibly. An essential step in the digital detox is to realize that you've a problem you need to solve. You don't have to wait until you're battling depression or anxiety before you act. Besides, it's a sign of maturity and taking responsibility when you've control over every aspect of your life. Your digital services shouldn't be an exception. Note that digital detox goes beyond determination. You also need to be skillful about it. You'll learn the techniques of effective digital detox in subsequent chapters. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.